everyone, you're in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how you may cut thin uh, metal with our DIY Galvo with 30 watt uh, Rikus laser. This is our uh, Galvo system and our table. The good thing about this table that you can uh, change height so you can move it up and down. We also have lifting table over here. Uh, you can use different foam once you do cutting on metal because once you have metal below or uh, metal with uh, different kind let me show you which one i mean so that's what i mean so the problem is that once you engrave it makes pulses and it vibrates on this type of uh, plate so i suggest you to use foam below but make sure that it does not burn so it's anti-burn foam for cutting and also don't leave your laser unattended. It's my, my installation, so I think that it's pretty good for cutting. So we're cutting uh, 0.5 millimeter uh, aluminum and the uh, laser parameters we're using, uh, let me show you real quick. Okay, so we have uh, 100 uh, repeats and the speed is 200 millimeters per second and 100% power. So the thing is, once you do uh, laser cutting, you need more uh, more power and uh, less um, ev uh, less peak energy because peak energy generates a lot of plasma. So that's why we suggest you to make many many repeats. So uh, means that will be less plasma that uh, actually blocks your la laser radiation uh, from hitting a surface. Okay, we're ready to go and uh, let's start. So you see that's really, really quick thing. And yeah, once uh, one very important thing, don't forget to wear goggles all the time you operate the laser and try to avoid uh, putting anything between the laser and the surface. Even uh, laser radiation can be, can be dangerous. So that's, uh, that's very important. And once it's done, don't touch it because it's very, very hot. We will put it into 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 water. Okay, let's put it into the water. To pull it down a little bit. Okay. And you see our our component. Sure that it's in focus. I can easily remove it. And you can see. And uh, now we'll we'll show you how you can get this hole. Okay. So. Okay. So you see that can be removed quite quite easily. So one nice thing to make your DIY jewelry out of, I don't know, maybe aluminum, brass, copper, also silver and gold. And you can see that's quite tiny and it's actually 0 0.4 uh, millimeter. And the size. It's about one centimeter yeah something like that so hope that you like this video please share it with your friends and have wonderful and uh, great experience with endurance lasers uh, learn more about endurance lasers on endurancelasers.com and visit our online store endurance-lasers.com and have a wonderful experience if you need anything just email me gf at endurancerobots.com and plus seven nine one six two two five four three two my cell phone have a great Day. Bye bye. bye.